Welcome everyone. I got some news to show you on this video. Another project I'm working on. Stay tuned and see what it is. Thanks for tuning in everyone. Jeff, Arizona Hot Homestead. Work always continues here on the, on the homestead. But let me show you what I've been doing here and a little bit of why I'm doing it. So let's take a look. So hopefully you guys have been following along. And you saw a long time ago I built this pump house. It's like 4 by 8. It's like 6 feet tall. And I never actually finished it because, to be honest, I ran out of money. So, but this thing is held up. But here's been my problem, really. Rodents get in here. And what's happened is my dog likes to go after them, as well as rabbits. So he's kind of dug that. I didn't do much of a foundation that was, so as you can tell, that just kind of fell apart. I never really even sealed anything up. I did seal the corners, though. And then the door. So here's what I got inside. I got hoses. That can be actually thrown out. But I never really insulated it. I do have a little light in here. That's solar. I hooked it up from there. There's my power supply. That orange is the uh, heat tape protecting the uh, pipes. And then they're also wrapped. And then that's just because one of the problems I'm having is this room doesn't have any heat. And what's happening is this room still freezes. And and it affects my pressure tank because obviously if air pressure decrease if the temperature decreases so does the air pressure and it affects your tank so I did that just to try to help hold in a little bit of heat but there is rat and mouse stuff literally everywhere as you can see it smells disgusting in here and so what I'm going to do is just redo it all see it's even coming apart there this here was designed to be a temporary fix anyhow so you can kind of see it separating there so this is going to be a, a temporary fix to begin with so now it's time to actually do it better so what we're going to do basically is we're going to double the size so this length there instead of eight we're going to make it ten and then we're going to go instead of four, we're going to go eight. And then I'm going to put in, and you're going to have to stay tuned for this. Because I'm going to put in a heater in here. A solar heater. And it's going to be pretty cool. But in addition to it, I'm also going to add a propane thermostat heater. And that will help with this here. Make sure the whole room keeps from freezing going forward. So... I know that looks crooked, it is, but it doesn't leak, so we're good to go. Anyhow, but in doing so, I gotta come out here another four feet. This tree is in the way. I've cut a lot of the tree down, so I've cut a lot of the branches off, and eventually that tree is gonna go completely. But, and look at this. This is a Ryobi cordless 40 volt chainsaw a 14 incher and I've been cutting this with this chainsaw I'll be honest with you I couldn't get my gas one to start so I picked this guy up when I was in town and oh my gosh I love it now I do need to adjust the chain the chains gotten a little loose but outside of that it has done it's cut this whole tree granted there's not much cutting but I've also cut each piece only like about a foot to 18 inches maybe two feet so as you can imagine you know a 10 foot branch I've cut it multiple times so I'll do another video on that but 
Yeah, so this thing here will go eventually. And by removing this, that's going to help out with the rodents too, because there'll be there'll be less places that the rodent will want to go. And then I'll make this a lot better, make it more rodent proof. I'll put some actual metal siding on here, and then we'll insulate the inside, and uh, I'll show you all that. So got the tree trimmed. Not all the way down yet. I'll deal with that later. But uh, first part of rebuilding this pump house is done. Yes, first part is tearing it down. So I got the tree trim back, so we'll tear it down next. So uh, you guys stay tuned to uh, you guys subscribe so you can see exactly how it turns out. See you by a first one.